gentlemen and welcome to another segment of Global Digest as I bring to you a Global Digest special, the impact of social media on our kids, children and youth. I am your girl Mimi and I hope you had a fabulous and well-rested weekend. Parents and guardians, guess what? Did you know that your child may sustain injuries or accidentally die unsupervised from school parties and social gatherings? Now watch out and listen to this episode and after this please have a conversation with your child or children. Today's segment is based on a serious and dangerous trend that has been going on within our teens and youth in general. So sit back and please pay close attention to this segment as I unveil this dangerous trend our youth may have witnessed or participated in. Now some of the latest and dangerous trends going viral these days are called the pass out challenge, the fire challenge, and another challenge that is supposed to be used positively, but some teenagers are using it negatively and naively so. It's called the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, or the Lou Gehrig Disease. I will go into more details on the two dangerous challenges and then explain what I mean for the third challenge. The first challenge is which they refer to as the Pass Out Challenge, or the Space Monkey, or the Choking Game, are keywords parents and guardians need to watch out for in our child's vocabularies, and then observe on our children's bodies upon their return from school and ha or hanging out with friends. Now this trend dates all the way back to the early 50s and early 60s and even as recent as 1995, but this trend is now being recycled into this generation. The pass out challenge is where teens knock themselves out on purpose or strangle themselves to unconsciousness and in many cases, death, hoping to reach some euphoric high and in turn gain internet, internet fame. Now there is more than one way to achieve this effect. But one of the most popular ways I have seen involves an individual hyperventilating for approximately 20 to 40 seconds or until you feel lightheaded. Then you hold your breath while another individual applies direct pressure to your chest. Now this causes you to feel tingling associated with euphoria, but also a shortage of blood and oxygen flow to the brain that leads to loss of consciousness. Now almost instantly the individual will pass out and slump to the ground and have a seizure-like effect. Now the second challenge is called the fire challenge. Now this challenge is a dare game in which the participant involuntarily and or voluntarily sets themselves on fire for a short period of time by applying flammable liquids of one's bare body up to the upper torso and filming the outcome. Now the first ever challenge video was uploaded by a YouTuber on April 2012 where he set his chest hair on fire which gained him a lot of views. Now by May 2013, another YouTuber uploaded a video which he titled the Hand Sanitizer or Fire Challenge in which he set his hand on fire using hand sanitizer. Now by June of 2013, another video was uploaded on YouTube in which a group of men lit their chest hair, leg hair, and pants on fire. Now fast forward into July and August of 2014, media coverage of this challenge increased and have even landed some teens in the hospital and suffering injuries for attempting such challenge. Now the third challenge is called a ALS ice bucket challenge in which individuals pour ice water on themselves to mimic the reactions a patient with Lou Gehrig disease would feel. Now this challenge is also done to bring awareness to this disease and to make donations to the ALS foundation. Now celebrities ranging from Shamar Moore, Gabrielle Union, Kerry Washington, even T Bishop T.D. Jakes and former President George W. Bush have participated in this challenge. Now the way it works is you do the challenge and then you call out the people you would like to see complete the same challenge and or donate funds to this foundation. Now don't get me wrong, this is a wonderful challenge and I do support it because it is for a good cause. But what I do not support is when teenagers use this medium negatively such as pulling a horrible prank on other people. Now for example, Recently, a couple of high school teens near Cleveland, Ohio used it to pull a prank on a 14-year-old student with autism. Now, instead of filling the bucket with ice and water, they filled it with urine, feces, and spit and recorded the whole thing on their phone and posted it on Instagram. Really? Come on, guys. This challenge begs several questions. Which whole healthy and smart human being would attempt such challenge? And where are the parents and guardians of these teens? Now, if any parent or guardian or any youth that have witnessed or participated in any of these challenges, please give me a call here at the studio at 770-212-9517 or email me 
at mimi.globaldigest at gmail.com. I want to understand more and hear from you. I intentionally did not include any of such video clips or links because I do not condone such act and neither does Omega Studio approve of such behaviors. But you can go to YouTube and check it out at your own risk. My parents and guardians, please be aware. Now as always, I am your girl Mimi and as I close out from Omega Studios, love hard, smile wide.